When you look at the back of a cereal box, you'd probably look at the calories and maybe the carbohydrates, but what about all of those vitamins? How many are there? Do we really need them all? First off, what is a vitamin? It's quite simple. It's a molecule that is needed by your body to function properly. All vitamins are taken in from the food that you eat, though some of vitamin D and K can be made by your body. There are 13 vitamins which can be broken down into two very different groups. The water-soluble vitamins, which are all eight of the B vitamins and vitamin C, and fat-soluble vitamins, which are vitamins A, D, E, and K. The water-soluble vitamins are taken up into the blood very easily. If your body has too many of these water-soluble vitamins, it excretes them through the urine. Vitamin C is often taken in huge amounts by people to help cure them of their sickness. Having the correct amount of vitamin C will not alleviate the symptoms of being sick, but may help cure you slightly faster. So you probably shouldn't waste your money and time on that ridiculous vitamin C supplements. They'll likely just be peed out anyways. On the other hand, if you have a poor diet with a lack of vitamin C, eat an orange or more fruit every day while you're sick. The fat-soluble vitamins are stored in your body's fat. You shouldn't be afraid of overdosing and dying on these vitamins, but you really shouldn't be taking extra of these, because you can easily have too many of these vitamins. Your body cannot excrete them as easily, and they can build up over time. If you have a healthy diet, most, if not all, of the vitamins you need, you already get from eating the foods you would normally eat. All of the different vitamins are quite important. They can help with anything from immune health, building bones, clotting blood, absorbing other nutrients, and a lot of other important aspects of your life. If there is a slight deficiency of nutrients, there won't be any major issues. You just won't be as healthy as you could be. But in extreme cases of vitamin deficiency, you can get diseases like rickets, scurvy, beriberi, and pellagra. Hopefully now you know enough to look at the back of the cereal box and understand what all of those numbers mean. And as always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.